good morning everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new around here my name is lisa today's video we are going to be talking through favorites i absolutely love favorites videos i put them on all the time they are an og youtube video aren't they whenever i'm doing like my makeup i love to listen to favorites videos they're just an easy listen an easy watch so today i thought i would talk you through a few of my favorites i'll probably bring you around the house with me as well and yeah i hope you're all doing well i thought i would quickly mention as well that we have hit 100,000 subscribers and i wanted to say a massive massive thank you i've been working towards getting 100,000 subscribers for such a long time i never thought we would even reach it so it's so amazing to finally have hit 100,000. i know it's a small number for some but it's absolutely huge for me and it's such an achievement so thank you for subscribing and thank you for being here and supporting me and always being so lovely it really really means a lot I have got the plaque actually. Should I go get it so I can show you? Hold on. This definitely has to be my favourite of the month, doesn't it? This is definitely my favourite item of the month. And it is my 100,000 subscriber silver play button, which I'm so, so, so happy to finally have. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Where do you think I should put this? I'm not really sure because I haven't got anywhere in here really where I can put it. Um... But yeah, if you've got any ideas on where I should put this, then do let me know. So it says, presented to Lisa Prideau for passing 100,000 subscribers from YouTube. You get like a little letter in here, which is really, really lovely to like say how far you've come. You even get a little card in here, which says that this was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. So thanks Rick for packing this up for me. Super, super exciting and such a massive achievement. I feel really proud actually. I never really celebrate too many things like achievements and that, but this is something that I definitely feel very very proud of and i do feel like i need to celebrate at some point but i just feel really happy to finally have the play button in my hands very very happy with that i'm back um i had to just charge the camera then because of course i didn't charge it and then my backup battery was also not charged typical me we we're talking favorites weren't we i wanted to talk to you about an autumnal scent that i've been absolutely loving this month and probably for maybe a couple of months now actually i bought this from asda i didn't have high hopes for it i love a wax melt i love a candle but i feel like wax melts are so much stronger the scent just lasts a lot longer and you know you can switch them up easier as well so i bought these when i was in asda a few weeks ago now probably six weeks ago and they are the salted caramel buttercream wax cubes this is what they look like they're just little cubes like that they smell so good maybe a little bit sickly for some because it is quite strong it's quite sweet very salted caramel strong but it just smells so autumnal which is why i love it so much it's not got that it's not sickly but it just smells like autumn when you put this on in the house because i've got lots of like, autumnal candles and things like that but i just don't find that they they really fill the room with a scent whereas this when i put a fresh one of these on you can smell it out in the hallway you can smell it in in the living room you can smell it everywhere for quite a long time even when i blow out the candle like the tea light so i would definitely recommend these i want to get some different ones from asda so if you have tried this wax melt brand from asda then let me know it's by sweet no it's by sensationals is the brand and it is a limited edition one this one made in the usa but yeah oh it smells so good so if you have got any recommendations for any other ones from asda or anywhere let me know because this one is beautiful what we'll do now is we'll pop upstairs i'm going to give you a little bathroom update as well within this video not because much has happened but we've painted the walls now so i thought i would just show you how that looks and the paint is definitely a favorite of mine so i'm going to share that with you in a minute but i'm going to give you a few beauty favorites whilst we're up here in my makeup drawer so i wanted to mention where is it now this laura mercier powder And then obviously you've got the original one, you've got the honey one now, and they also have the Honey Star, which is a translucent loose setting powder light catcher. It's got more of a shimmer to it. I wouldn't put it all over your face, more on like the highest points of your face where you want to catch a bit of light because that one is a bit more, that one's a little bit stronger on the face, if that makes sense. You can see it a little bit more. But the blurring one, I really like. I've got it on today. I don't like to have like a completely matte face, 
but when I use my all of my moisturizers and stuff sometimes it can look a little bit too dewy for me so I like to matte it down a little bit and I like that this has a little bit of blurring in it as well so it blurs under the eyes and I've really been enjoying it I've been using it for about two three weeks now um, and this one is the ultra blur setting powder the packaging is a little bit more frosted i have had a look as well this one is available in three shades so it just it has that ultra blurring effect without making you look too matte it just leaves a really soft finish which i love so i've been really enjoying that one i think i probably prefer this one to the original i just feel like the formulas are nicer let me just pop this on my hand so i've got it's really hard to show you because obviously they're translucent powders but I feel actually like the original translucent one it has a slightly warmer tone to it actually you're not going to be able to see but this one here is the new blurring one and this one here is the original one but when i look on my hand when i see them together the new one has a bit more of a softer merged look compared to the original translucent powder which i can actually really tell the original one looks slightly more chalkier than the new one the new blurring one which definitely looks softer on the skin it feels like it's like more of a, a wetter formula even though it isn't even though it's a powder so it just looks a little bit softer on the skin so i'm really really enjoying that one so if you are in the market for a new setting powder then i would try the laura mercier blurring one the blurring translucent powder because that one is gorgeous i also love the honey one because it's got more of a, a honey tone to it but if you can get this one in the honey now then you're all in it's amazing so that is my setting powder favorite today what i would say as well with this one is that you should really use a like a powder puff applicator do you know what i mean but i always just use a brush only because this is always what i've got to hand and I never really bother with any other kind of tools when I'm doing my makeup. But that is meant to be the better way to apply it. And what was I going to say now? What's my next favourite? So let's talk hair actually because we're on a hair journey. And something that I did, I was a little bit lazy with when doing my hair, when I'm styling my hair, is using a heat protector. And it's just so important, isn't it? It's so important to protect your hair. You wouldn't go out in the sun and not put on an SPF, would you? So when you're using heat on your hair, you should always use a heat protector. So I'm just using this one by GHD. This is the Bodyguard Travel Size Heat Protectant Spray. It works really well. Also smells really nice. I like that it's in a really small bottle. So if I'm ever going anywhere, it's not too heavy, not too in the way. And yeah, that is what I've been using on my hair to protect it recently. I would like to get myself a heat protector as a detangler as well so I can just kind of spray my hair, detangle it and it's all like in there so I haven't got fussed with too many products. I don't really like it when I've got loads of products to fit in my hair. I hate that. Yeah, heat protector, super, super important. I feel like GHD is a brand to go to if you're looking to protect your hair because they have got, you know, amazing products. So, and they're obviously made for the heat. So this is what I've been using on my hair this month since I've been getting my hair done and I'm really loving the darker hair. I know I keep saying it. I won't keep saying it. I'm not going to keep saying it. Although it needs a wash today, which is why it's up and looking like a bird's nest. But anyway, we move. So let's talk about the next beauty product I want to talk to you about is a product that I feel like everyone is going to need a little bit more of this winter. And it is of course a nice lip balm. We all like a nice lip balm, don't we? Now this one I got last Christmas actually and I've used it most days since. It's so, so lovely. This is by Estee Lauder. It is the Pure Colour MV Colour Replenish Lip Balm. It just looks like this. So it looks pink but it goes on clear but it turns your lips a little bit pink so estee lauder described this as a hydrating lip balm that adds moisture but also a, a little tint to your lips and it does it does give you a little tint like a bit more of a rosy tint i tend to use this with a uh, lip liner as well and it just kind of finishes the look i really really like that wear it, when i wear it on its own i feel like it's a little bit too sheer for me but um i always feel like i have to wear a lip product on my lips and this has been amazing you know for those days where you don't really want to wear too much this is really nice and it's very hydrating it lasts a long time it's definitely like a must-have within my makeup bag because you know you don't want to wear lipstick all the time you don't want to wear lip glosses all the time but i feel like a lip balm is essential especially in the winter you don't want no dry cracked lips this is going to keep that at bay so i would definitely recommend this i've tried so many different lip balms in the past i like it when they come in like a 
a lipstick form so they look like a lipstick rather than the little pots I just feel like this is so much more convenient and easier to apply and I really really like it I almost forgot about a hair product that I have been meaning to talk to you about and it is by JVN this is the complete air dry cream by JVN I've used this a couple of times now so I can't really give you like a full review but I love it it is so so good so this is what it looks like it's an air dry cream so when you want to leave your hair natural you literally wash your hair pop this into your hair let it air dry I have used the diffuser as well and it still has given me a really lovely effect and also I've applied it when it's dry when I'm just like restyling it in the morning this is amazing this is my favorite air dry cream that I've ever tried I've tried a few different ones I've tried ones from Redkin I've tried ones from Bumble and Bumble the JVN one is my favorite it's amazing I actually need to wash my hair and leave it curly I haven't left it curly since having it darker of course it's by the iconic Jonathan Van Ness I love him I love him he just gives me a good vibe you know when you watch him and he just makes me feel happy I have done a little review like a mini review on TikTok so I'll insert that here if I can find that video. So today I'm going to give you a first impressions of the JVN air dry cream. Never tried it before. I want healthy, gorgeous locks. Let's go. It says to just work any kind of amount into your hair just as desired. So we're just going to scrunch it in. It smells amazing. It basically feels like you've put nothing in your hair. It's so strange. You get no kind of real sticky residue or anything. Sometimes that products can feel really heavy on my hair. So I'll let it dry and then I'll be back when it's dry. It's been about 20 minutes. I did diffuse my hair a little bit because I've got to go out in a minute. But this product is Chef's Kiss. This is amazing. I've never used anything like this before. My hair doesn't feel like it's got any product in it, which I love. And we've still got definition. It's about 95% dry now. I love it. Well done, JVN. Amazing. I think it's a great product. And actually, probably one of my absolute favourites from this video. Oh my god, I'm on a roll now. I feel like I'm on a roll now. I need to talk to you about this product now. Right, this is not going to be for everyone. But the mornings are darker and you know if you've been with me for a while you know that i had a mirror it's by glamcore it's a ricky mirror it's got lights built into it it was really really powerful but with my vanity situation i've changed the mirrors in here so i don't often get that mirror out anymore so i wanted something that i could use that i could just pop onto my mirror or pop onto my camera on my phone when i'm doing content if i need it or you know in the mornings if i want to film a little get ready with me and it's still dark outside i can use this light it's portable i have got quite a few studio lightings i've got through quite a few different studio lights whilst doing this for almost 10 years now i've had softbox lights which were massive big boxes i had two of them that i would use to film when i was doing like uh, makeup videos I then went to a ring light, which I still have, but I just don't get it out as much because it's just a faff to get out. So I wanted something that was small and easy to use and still powerful. This is powerful, guys. Let me turn it on. Look how powerful that is. I just think that's fab. Like, you know, I just think it's really, really useful. They also have, you can also change the light to more of a warmer tone. I just think it's really good. Once it's kind of settles, obviously at the minute, it's a little bit much, but let me just put it up here so I can show you. It's light outside at the minute, so it's not really going to do anything. This is the warmer light, and then you can change it to the cool light, which actually I think that is really good. Like, it illuminates me really, really well, and it's very useful for content creators, of course. But also, if you've got, like, teenagers that... Hold on. God, that looks like a... I'm in a horror movie now. Um, if you've got teenagers that love to create TikTok videos and things like that and they've been asking you for a ring light or softbox lights, you know, all the jazzy lighting, then I really feel like this is adequate. This is great and it, you can get all these different attachments with it. It's a USB charger. I can just pop it onto my phone like that, the light on and carry on with my day. I think that is fab. Sorry. I love a bit of lighting. I love a bit of tech anything like that and I think it's really really good so I thought I would just quickly share that with you for any content creators out there for any business owners out there that want to create content for their business on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube I just think it's a really good all-round item to have and also with the darker mornings if you just want to pop it on your mirror to help you get ready in the mornings you can dim it down as well so it's not too bright in your face but if you just want that little bit of extra lighting in the mornings to get ready I would highly recommend it I think it was like 20 pounds on Amazon I'll link it down below for you but now 
Should we go into the bathroom? I want to show you a couple of bits I bought for the bathroom because I love it. Let me go show you now. Look at this little boy. Oh, and the little girl. Are you up here? Are you watching your brother? It was Gigi's birthday yesterday, guys. She is now one. You're now one. And then look at the little boy. Hello, little boy. Sorry, I have to put a baby voice on because these little boys and girls are so cute. Hello. Hello. They are always playing in here because currently the bath is in here. This is the bath, guys. I don't know if I've showed you this. Hold on. I don't know if I've shown you the bath yet. Have I? Well, this is where it is in Renzo's bedroom. It was very, very heavy. Um, I think three or four people had to carry this up the stairs. So this is where it currently is before it goes into our bathroom. But look at them. So cute. I can't not look at these little sleepy cats. So, so cute. But yeah, that is the bath there. It's matte as well. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. It's quite hard to see, but this is a matte finish as well. So I can't wait to have my first bath very soon. Well, let me show you some bathroom updates then. So Mark and I have painted, sorry it's a bit echoey in here, but Mark and I have painted the walls now and I love it. Okay so now can you see how this is a, a creamy white but not yellow. I'm so so happy with this colour. So this is Jasmine White by Dulux and during the day as the light changes as well it changes and it's just such a pretty pretty colour. Let me take you over here so you can see like the arch as well. I am so over the moon with this colour. Now to most of you, this will just be white. But to me, in this room, I can really see the creamy milkiness of it. It's like a milky white, I would say. And I love it. So this is definitely a favourite of mine. We went for the Dulux Jasmine White and it's the bathroom one. So it's got a slight soft sheen to it, which you probably won't be able to see in this light. So I don't think you'll be able to see it. But it has got a soft sheen, so it's going to be more hard wearing for a bathroom. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's such a lovely colour, but what I wanted to show you was a couple of items I bought for the bathroom. This is not really giving it much, it's not showing it in it, all its glory, but I bought this. Faux, this is not styled how I want it yet, but I did buy it for this corner here. So I went for this gorgeous kind of rustic pot and foliage. So these are faux stems. I bought three of them. And I, I will mention the name in a minute of the shop. I'll go downstairs and check on my phone because I saw this on Instagram. I think I maybe saw an Instagram ad or something online. I saw someone promoting this brand and I went on their website and this it was just so Studio McGee. They had so many different items that I absolutely love and I thought this would be really perfect in here. So I got that, which I absolutely adore. I think it looks really pretty. It's got that real... Mediterranean rustic look which is what I'm going for in here and I just think it's so lovely and then I've also got my new bath board which is this this again you're not really gonna be able to get the gist of it until it's on the bath but we've gone for a curve we've gone for a slightly darker wood which you can see here actually a warmer darker wood you can see there it's got those bits there so it can go onto the bath nicely and I love it. Now this was a custom piece that I had made from Park Howley & Co. So the same company that made the vanity. I sent them a picture of what I wanted and asked them if they can make it for me and they made it. And I'm so, so pleased with it. I love the curve. I love the colour of it. I just think it's so, so beautiful. And I thought that when I haven't got it on the bath, it can just go nicely here like on the windowsill because this is slightly deeper this part of the windowsill and it doesn't look weird or anything and I can put items on there to style up so I've got these little um these are actually tea towels but I thought these would be nice as like a little hand towel as well I love the waffle finish on them and I love these neutral natural colors so I got two of those but um I just brought them up here the other day because I wanted to see how they looked but uh you know I think they look gorgeous. I'm so happy with those items. And again, I'm really, really pleased with this. Let me go downstairs or let me go grab my phone and I can tell you what the brand is called. So I've just had a look and that shop on Instagram is called Fox and Bow. They have the, the most beautiful homeware online. So if you are looking for like nice Studio McGee kind of style, you know, that modern vintage 
look then i would definitely recommend them they've got loads of lovely bits this is not sponsored i bought from them as a customer but i just thought i would share them with you because i love sharing small businesses when i find them so yes i was really happy to find that one and yeah i think that's pretty much it i don't think i've got anything else to talk about have i i have got actually my trench coat i have been wearing that quite a lot recently I'll insert a video here of a, like a an outfit of the day where I wore it because it is such a lovely trench coat. Now, if you are not into trench coats that much, but you really want to try one, but you don't want to spend loads of money on one, then this one on Amazon does the job. It does the job. I bought it because I was still in two minds. I didn't know if a trench coat was going to suit me, um, but I really wanted to try it. I love the look of them. I love like how they how you can style them up and style them down. But I thought to, I didn't really want to invest in one just yet because I thought I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I bought this one, one on Amazon. I think it was around twenty pounds. Again, they've got them in a few different colours actually, and they even have like a shorter version as well if you prefer that. The one I've got is only $34.99. $34.99 I think is a really great price for a trench coat. Now, I will say that the material, the fabric is quite thin. But for layering over jumpers, if you've got like sweatshirts on, chunky knitwear, and it's like not too cold of a day, then I think it's great. It's perfect for that. But I will invest in like a nicer trench coat as and when I find the perfect one. I feel like it's quite hard to find the perfect trench coat. I find that a lot of the ones that I tried on last year were just really massive and really like drowning. I didn't like that. I didn't want it to be too big and too oversized. I still want it to be smaller on the shoulders. I find that sometimes they can be a bit big on the shoulders and I don't really like it when they come out a little bit. So this one here was ideal for that. 34 99 I think is a great price. I'll link that one down below if you fancy trying out the trench coat look or if you wanted to get one and you haven't got one yet. I thought that was a really good one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat. I really enjoyed having a little just sit down and chat with you today because I feel like sometimes when I'm vlogging I can't really just sit down and chat and I don't really get to do that very often so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you'd like to see more um favorite type videos in the future because I love filming them for you and I love to have a little sit down and a chat with you as well so any more sit down videos that you'd like to see let me know and I will see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching